Hey, it's Keith, host of Sports Vibes TV, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about Tom Thibodeau's recent press conference with the New York media after they had a, let's say, an extended practice in their new little bubble setup. But before I get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, that way you're notified whenever I drop new content. So with that being said, let's get into it. During Tom Thibodeau's media session or press conference, however you want to refer to it as, he was asked about R.J. Barrett's, you know, rookie season and what we should expect from him moving forward. And I really liked his answer. Basically, you know, Tom Thibodeau said, there's no magic formula to becoming an elite player here in the NBA. And it's going to take some work. And he's expecting R.J. to come into this, you know, bubble and actually work real hard. He didn't mention R.J. by name. Because for some reason, Thibodeau didn't want to actually say who was coming to the bubble. Uh, this is actually a voluntary workout. And he was real, you know, he tried to really hide who would be in attendance. And unfortunately, there were some notable names uh, that were missing from the actual workout. That one player would be Mitchell Robinson. Unfortunately, Mitchell Robinson has decided to opt out of the voluntary workouts and I would have liked to see him in the actual bubble, learning some of the new offensive and defensive systems that Tibbs is going to try to implement. Because you have to remember, Mitchell Robinson is going to be our anchor for, you know, the defensive side of the ball. So to have all these other players in-house and in the bubble working together and trying to get build some chemistry, it's kind of hard to really approximate what we have in-house if we don't have such a large piece to our defense on the court. So I would have liked to see him come in and actually participate. You know, let's be honest. Yeah, he's a second round pick and typically picks like that, you know, you would hope that they're working out with the team as much as possible. But as an NBA player, he does have the right to opt out. And unfortunately, he has opted out of the voluntary workouts. One player who was in attendance is actually DSJ, also known as Dennis Smith Jr., he actually has been working out with the Knicks coaching staff for at least a week. I know that there have been videos and photos posted on social media showing DSJ working with Johnny Bryant. If you're not familiar with Johnny Bryant, he's actually a coach that was brought over from Utah. And in a lot of NBA circles, he's credited with Donovan Mitchell's success over in Utah. So if he can work with DSJ and get, you know, somewhat close to some of the success that he's seen with Donovan Mitchell, that would be ideal because DSJ and Donovan Mitchell, their play style is fairly similar. They're, you know, combo guards that like to attack the paint. And, you know, the big difference between the two is Donovan Mitchell is a much better outside shooter. So if Johnny Bryan is able to work with DSJ and try to get him on a similar track as he was able to with Donovan Mitchell, that would be perfect because if we can get DSJ to be an in-house solution for our starting point guard next season, then that would allow the Knicks to save some cap or not necessarily save some cap space, but not have to use our cap space on a starting point guard in free agency, whether that be a Fred Van Vliet or a trade for a more proven point guard, whether that be a CP3. So DSJ is going to be one player that I really keep my eye on at the beginning of next season to see what he could possibly become. Another player that's actually confirmed to be in the bubble is Kevin Knox. Kevin Knox also has been on just been seen on social media in both videos and pictures working with Kenny Payne. Kenny Payne, I actually made a video on. I'll link it up above. You guys can check that one out. I got a little deeper into his backstory about who he is and things of that nature. But I'm very excited in seeing him and what he can do with Kevin Knox. Kevin Knox coming into the league, they said he might not have the confidence to actually succeed being so young. And to have a coach that's a familiar face, because Kenny Payne previously coached him in Kentucky with Calipari. So the fact that he has a familiar face in the organization now and somebody that he can lean on, especially seeing that, you know, Thibodeau can be a pretty tough coach to actually play for, it seems. So to have that, you know, that coach that he's familiar with to kind of do the good cop, bad cop with Thibodeau should be good for his production and his development moving forward. 
So that's going to be another player I think you guys should keep your eyes on at the beginning of next season just to see if this little period of time where they're working with the coaches actually pays some you know big dividends at the beginning of next season. So once again, Kevin Knox is going to be a player I would keep my eye on. That pretty much wraps up Tibbs' press conference and, you know, what's going on inside the Knicks' bubble situation. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments, all right? Once again, I'm Keese, host of Sports Vibes TV, and I'm out. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh.